there guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well, this is Jaden here from Devil Cube, and I'm back again today with another tutorial. This is going to be in After Effects where we're going to be learning to create an amazing, beautiful, elegant, super cinematic style trailer sequence. Now you can use this for your outros or your short films or videos or you know whatever you want, even as an intro. If you are a beginner to After Effects or you already have the knowledge of After Effects, then you can definitely love this tutorial because it's going to teach you a lot of cool stuff. So without further ado, let's take a look at what we're going to be creating and cue the intro and get started. Alright guys, so that was the trailer and uh, it's pretty cool in my opinion. But anyways, let me show you how to create it. So here I am in After Effects and this is actually the project and you can download the project files for free in the description. But please, I would appreciate if you guys could leave a thumbs up on the video before downloading it. That's all I ask of you. Alright, so let's start off. So I'm going to go ahead and just start off by creating a new composition. Um, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. And duration, let's set it to, um, let's see, how many seconds? Uh, we can set it to 5 seconds long. And uh, let's go 5 seconds long. Go ahead and click on OK. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is going to go ahead and click right click New and choose a text. And uh, I'm going to go call this Tutorial for this and select it. Go, I'm using the font Gotham Book and Gotham Ultra. Uh, not Ultra, let's go for Gotham Book. No? Gotham Bolt. Yeah, there we go. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure I hold down Control and double click on the Pan Behind tool, which is going to center the anchor point position. So now, whenever I scale it or move it, it takes this as the center of. Uh, attention and let's press s on the keyboard or actually let's go ahead and just increase the size of this all right there we go that's uh, pretty good let's do that again hold on control double click on the pan behind tool and center that then come here to the align properties and close it up and if you don't have any of the tabs that i use over here you can go to window and uh, choose whatever that is so here i have align turn on all right so um let's go and call this uh text uh, stroke and make a copy by pressing Control D and we can call this text fill all right so let's go to the text fill and I'm gonna go here to my effects and presets I'm gonna choose an effect called as a uh, ramp so it's gonna be called as gradient ramp double click on that and make sure my start color is gonna be a little bit of a grayish white and my end color is gonna be somewhat of a dark you know like like a somewhat grayish color and i'm going to click here to grab the uh anchor point not anchor point i don't know what this thing's called anyways but drop it up over here and uh, this okay uh, we need to set the ramp shape to radial ramp there we go all right and just bring this down so if you see you can see this little bit of a nice beautiful gradient which makes it more cool ele uh, elegant and cinematic pretty impressive Right, so the next thing is we want to go into the text stroke we want to make sure that the text stroke is on top so let's go here to the character panel click on this button which is going to snap it and uh, i'm choosing a stroke of 1.5 and the color we can set it to a slightly uh, gray color or even a slightly red color whatever you want something like that go ahead and click on ok and uh, let's zoom in a little bit closer All right so you can see the white stroke Right, not sure if you can see it, but yeah, it's there. All right, so now it's time to start animating this. So we're gonna go start off. Let me hide the text stroke layer first, and we're gonna go with the text fill, or let's actually go and start off with the text stroke. All right, yeah, there you go. You can see the stroke much better. So I'm gonna go into my uh, effects and presets panel, and uh, let me just close this up. And we're gonna search for an effect called as Cascade. All right, now this is gonna be 3D basic rotate Y Cascade. Double click on that. And if I play it, you see this is the animation I kind of get. 
All right, now the animation is already built in for us, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and make a little bit of changes to this. So press U on your keyboard to get the off the um, the keyframes, and uh, we're gonna go and go to three seconds. All right, so three second mark, and take this keyframe, and then hold down Shift and just drag it. So if you hold down Shift, it's gonna snap to the timeline indicator. Select both of these, right click keyframe assistant, or choose Easy Ease. All right, and then come here to the graph editor. And we're going to select this and uh, move this over slightly to the side like so just to give it a little bit of a ramp. So let's play that again once again. All right. And there you go. That's looking much better. All right. So the next one is that we're going to go ahead and choose turn on text fill. And we're going to go ahead and choose a linear wipe. So transitions, linear wipe. Take that on and throw it right there. Press U to see the keyframes, and we're gonna select all this and just move this over to the beginning, actually. Select the last one, move this over to four seconds, all right? So make sure you can use your page up and page down buttons to move one frame front and back. And I'm gonna put this right over here. Select these two, right click, keyframe assistant, and choose um, easy ease. Now this is where you kind of have to play around with the timing. Um, so as you can see, this is what we get. So I'm gonna set the feather of this to 400. All right, so the feather is gonna be 400. And uh, all right, let's actually do one. Let's, let's delete the color fill for now. Let's take the text stroke, duplicate that, and uh, this time go and just uh, reverse it, make sure we have the fill, and then let's go and add in the gradient ramp. Double click on that. And uh, let's quickly change the settings, right? Okay. And uh, we're gonna go and move these and make sure this is a radial ramp. All right, pretty good. All right, okay. And oh, let's go and add the linear wipe effect to this. Linear wipe. Let's take it and drag it on the stroke. And oh, yeah, we're gonna, we, we need to call this a text uh, fill and make sure that this is down below in the layers. All right, press U. So we can see the keyframes, all right, the keyframes are right here. Uh, right click, keyframe assistant, and choose easy ease. All right, we can take this, move this over. Make sure that the feather is set to 400. Okay, now we're gonna start off the feathering in when the letter U is almost there. So, so, so somewhere around here, let's give it a try and see. All right, that looks much better. That looks really good. That looks super cool. Let's play it once again. All right, that looks, that's looking great actually. Perfect. All right, so we have uh, this animation ready. So the only thing we got to do next is uh, to go ahead and create a new text. And let's go call this After Effects. All right, and I'm gonna go and choose a font which is gonna be Gotham, Gotham Book. All right, shrink it down pretty much. All right, then we can take this and then just move this up like so. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all these three and then just bring these down. Take these out a bit. We can turn on title action safe to see how it looks. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. Let's close the title action safe. And we are almost done. All right, now we want the text after effects to start just before. Um, the animation starts so around here. So I'm going to take the layer and then move it over to the side, right? Like just like that. And uh, so if you play this, boom, okay, the text comes on and then the animation starts. Maybe we can push it a little bit back or a little bit front. All right, it's looking pretty good. Now, one more thing to sell the effects of a cinematic transition or an effect um, is to go to our um, effects and presets. Oh, actually, let's actually click on this triangle button. And in the now, you can see this option called animate. All you got to do is select the animate and click on this option which says tracking. And here we have a lot of options. So we have the, the range selector, the tracking type, and the amount. But all we need is the tracking amount. So what the tracking amount does is this. Just that gives it a cool cinematic effect. So I'm going to start off on my frame zero. Tracking amount, 
set this to 10, click on the tracking amount, then let's go to around, let's say uh, over here, let's three, the three second mark and set the tracking amount to zero. Let's select the animator two, copy that by pressing control C. Let's come here to the text stroke, come here to the beginning of the timeline, press control V to paste, and it's gonna apply that to the text as well. Let's do the same thing for After Effects as well. Press Ctrl V to paste and right, there we go. Let's play this again and check it out. So this is what we have. So all you gotta do is uh, make sure that you select uh, all these three layers, make sure it's on a new composition. And all you have to do is if you wanna duplicate it, Select the composition, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. It's gonna create a new composition, saying composition three, and you can go ahead into that and uh, duplicate and change the letters and then place them however you want. Um, just like just like here. So this is my audio track and I have the sequence and stuff. So right, so that's pretty much it. And if you guys wanna know how, to, how I faded away, I just use a black solid layer. So if you go to layer and choose new solid and set the color to black, all right, and I all I did is press T to get the opacity and increase and decrease the opacity settings and at the right time with the music. And there you go. Oh, another thing I wanna mention is I also have the scale property. So once I import the new uh, composition over here, which has everything, I have set the scale to 107. And by the end of the, um, the audio uh, sequence, we set it back to 100. So it gives it a little bit of a zoom, zoom and zoom out effect. Pretty cool, uh, right? So that's pretty much it on how to create this amazing cinematic, elegant trailer title sequence in After Effects CC. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Yet yeah, and again, the project files are down below the description. Make sure you leave a like before you download them. I'd really appreciate that. Don't forget to turn on notifications. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me on my social media links. I'm always active and I reply to all my comments. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye bye. <laughs>